It's a tour where the star's the venue, <laughs> giving fans access all areas to London's O2 Arena. What's it like being in here? It's weird seeing it empty. Yeah. We usually get here at last minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's really it's exciting. Really cool. It feels yeah. like you're part of the band. Like, <laughs> it definitely makes you miss being at a concert. Yeah. yeah. We like, definitely missed our concerts this year. I miss this, this atmosphere yeah. and then being there. It's <laughs> weird standing here as well with yeah. nothing going like on. Like looking at so. the show. Yeah. yeah. It's weird. Yeah. I mean, I would love to be able to perform, but I don't think yeah, <laughs> anyone would want to hear my voice. So. <laughs> This is how it should sound. A roar of up to 20,000 people packed inside. But COVID's completely silenced this place. And with all shows canceled, the backstage door is open. Inside a showbiz world, corridors where two and a half thousand acts have passed. On the wall, messages of thanks from artists. This one from Taylor Swift. You can peek into the dressing rooms. In front of these mirrors, the world's most famous stars have been made up and have come out ready for the show. Beyonce just won in a long succession of music royalty that began with Prince. For 21 nights in 2007, he opened the O2 as a live music venue. And over the years, performers have made some strange demands for things to have waiting for them inside the dressing rooms. So here we have a list of some of the rider requests that we've had from some of our artists. Some are very, very regular. Some are a little bit more imaginative, as you can see. Uh, leaving from T-shirts to Starbucks or even McDonald's burgers without the buns. But the identity of the artists who made these odd requests remains a secret. This is the secret room. What does that mean? Then another secret. The Fab Room, a VIP celebrity hangout where cameras are not allowed okay, ever. Can, I can go in, but we're not allowed to film yeah, inside. To. OK. Oh, my God. Inside a labyrinth of rooms with secret doors and a lot of mirrors. That is hilarious. But what's missing here is people. The reality of the O2's new normal is that the car park is a COVID-19 testing center. It's completely empty here. How damaging is it just not having anyone coming and having a box office? No one could have imagined COVID shutting down the O2 and shutting down every music and entertainment venue in the UK. We're in a very, very difficult space. The reality is, you know, it doesn't look like we're going to be hosting events here in any major way until March or April of next year. How weird is it being in London without any concerts, without any venues, without anywhere to go? It's really sad because I think that's one of our favourite things to do yeah. like, as a group. We had so, so many booked up this year that all yeah. got postponed. So I think it's the one yeah. thing we're missing now. This remains another venue without a show. An empty stage and no players. Rags Martel, ITV News at the O2.